Hi everybody, my name is Lauren Silva. I look forward to working with all of you over the next long, maybe short weeks as we get to know each other. The type of agency that I am working for as an intern is a hospice house, hospice agency. So they actually have contracts with facilities, nursing homes, like personal care homes, um, as well as going out into families' homes and or apartments to help make the patient feel comfortable during their end of life stages. I'm hoping to get out of this placement a different side of social work I previously interned with our Rape Crisis Center, and I'm actually working there now. So this is going to be a completely different ballpark for me. Um, and getting comfortable talking about death and dying has always been an interest of mine. And in a way, it's almost like a taboo topic because not many people, social workers, et cetera, want to maybe go into the death and dying process or work for hospice, but there's a lot of intricacies that go into it as well. As being a dual degree student, I am also interested to see how I will be able to integrate human sexuality into this process regarding relationships and their body or their partner's bodies and what that might look like because I will be working with a lot of elderly individuals. Um, so that's one thing that I'm hoping to get out of it. And what I expect to be different is definitely actually going to these facilities um, or people's homes, especially in this time of COVID. They do offer phone visits but some um, agencies do allow us to come in so on that side that will definitely be different as well as the access to client records even just partnering with funeral homes getting to know that side a little bit better in addition they are in a sense everywhere i know they started in 1979 and they have a lot of locations, um, Tennessee, for example. And so interested to see maybe how things work differently in different states and how that looks like will definitely be different and a fun learning process. I am a little bit nervous because they seem to be a little bit disorganized. When I got my first PPD test, they told me to come in and it was expired. And I didn't necessarily have a true orientation. I actually had to ask for some of the stuff that their volunteers get trained in. So I'm hoping this rocky start will just be that, a small rocky start. But I'm lucky to have everybody to support me and I can support you. I look forward again to working with you all. Good luck, stay safe, and be healthy.